Executives need a strategy for their stock options. Cornerstone Financial Partners' Jeff Carbone is here to give us a few tips on how they can do that. Welcome, Jeff. Well, thanks, Veronica. Jeff, so the first thing is to have a strategy, right? Absolutely. If you don't have a strategy or a plan, what, what, what good is it really doing, right? Right. So, it, yeah. so with executives, it's definitely just like every, everybody in life. It's having the plan with C-level or with executives about a plan for your stock options. So one of the issues some executives might ha have with selling stock is it may not look so good in the public eye, politically within their company, it may not look so good. So what do you say to those folks? Well, appearance is everything, I guess, right? Yeah. So yeah, he's definitely a, as an executive of a, of a major company. You certainly don't want to give the appearance of uh, divesting yourself too much. Uh, some companies have um, uh, requirements that you have to keep a certain amount of stock. So with our executives that we work with, we develop a pattern. Uh, and a pattern could be developed over one year, you know, two years, whatever. So if we take a client that has 500,000 shares of stock, we may develop a pattern over a five-year period of time to sell 100,000 per year, and we're going to sell 25,000 per quarter, or whenever uh, the, the window is open for them to sell it. So a lot of it is just, again, having the pattern set up and then implementing the pattern or the strategy to, to, to exit the stock. To stop. That's smart because if you have a pattern, it doesn't flag everyone as much as it might exactly. normally. What about taxes, though? Because that's a big part in all of this. Ab absolutely. I mean, as, as we know, our taxes have gone up over the last few years. And for executives or for high net worth clients, as the more income you have, the higher taxes you're paying. You know, with highest tax rate now 39.6. On top of that, we could pay capital gains of 20% plus additional 3.8 plus additional 0 0.09. So we yep. could pay a fair <laughs> amount of taxes. So the tax strategy is ultimately important. So we look at what can we be doing. So if we know there's a year we're giving or exercising a fair amount of stock, we may look at what can we be doing from a charitable do uh, standpoint. So what charitable inclinations do the does the executive have? What other stock positions does he have that we can use appreciated stock, donate it to a donor advised fund, or donate it to a charity, take the tax deduction on that side, sell the stock, have the income, and kind of have it offset a little bit, adjust one another. So kind of trying to develop some tax strategies to keep a little bit more in our client's pocket. <laughs> Always sounds like a good idea. Absolutely. They appreciate that. I'm sure. <laughs> Thanks, Jeff.